Bruce hates this dress. <laughs> it's because it makes me look like a big shapeless pumpkin. So yeah, this is a thrift store dress. I found it, look at it, it's great because it has, it's, it does, it's, it's, it's gigantic and it has pockets. So I, I like it. I mean, it's comfy. So, you know what? I decided I would show you those finished towels because I didn't really show you finished towels. I showed you where I cut them apart, but I ended up I ended up using my my sewing machine to to machine stitch these. And of course, I have little things where you know, I rolled it and the 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 fabric kind of moves a little bit when I when I work. Kind of kind of like a slippery satin or something. So, I just did you know, a little half inch seam and and here's my dish towels now I think some people would consider this kind of a big towel I mean it's almost it's almost a yard a yard long by you know I really don't know how wide this is um <laughs> right, let me try and measure it with this tiny little ruler so there's six inches 12, 18, 19. So I probably warped it at 20 and then it, it shrunk down to 19. Now I have some dish towels that I bought and I like just like really generous dish towels and I'm leaving myself enough room to where this will shrink up. It's linen and cotton so I'm assuming it's going to shrink up a lot and I've already run it through the wash once but I ironed it to um, I ironed that whole fabric before I cut it up and then uh, and then I re-ironed the seams to flatten them I mean the yeah the edges the edge seams to flatten them so I don't know once I run it through the regular wash I'm assuming it's gonna shrink up significantly I could be wrong and I'll let you know but yeah so so they're kind of they're pretty pretty generous dish towels I have a couple that came out shorter. They're they're definitely not. You see, this one's shorter than the others. And these are only three of the six that I kept, and the other four are gifts. Um, but they, uh, it's. I mean, I like them. You know, I've been using them, and they are absorbent. The only thing is that they're they're not as tight as like a store brought dish towel. And and I'm assuming that maybe when they shrink up they'll tighten up a little bit. Um, that's an the, it you know they just they really feel woven right now. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. I mean, they they look great in the kitchen. I love them. Don't get me wrong. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what I think once I wash them and, and use them some more. So. And somebody had asked me about <laughs> about my sewing machine. Um, wait, who is it that asked me about my sewing machine? Hold on, I'm going to. It was Kathy. Kathy asked me about my sewing machine. Um, and if if <laughs> if I was doing the right vlogging thing, I would. I would go and clear off my sewing machine so I could be sitting by it. But instead, I'm going to put a picture of it right here. <laughs> so yeah, this is my sewing machine. It was my grandmother's and it was also my mother's. And my mother made prom dresses for me on this sewing machine. And my grandmother, I don't know what my grandmother sewed. I know she, um, she was a working girl. So I, she did some sewing, but she didn't do a lot of sewing. Now my great grandmother, uh, Mimi, was was a seamstress she's she did my mother's wedding dress and all the bridesmaids dresses and she used to take on that was her side gig she would uh, do uh, sewing for a side gig she'd make clothing so um so that's how my mom learned how to sew 
So this sewing machine was, uh, my mom gave it to me at some point during my young adult life when I was living in Birmingham. And, uh, and it was great because I, I loved to sew. Um, I had had a little cheapy singer that I got like at Walmart for next to nothing, like a hundred bucks, maybe 150. I don't know how much sewing machines were back then. A plasticky kind of one. And it's the kind that when you press the pedal that the table would shake with, you know, the momentum and it had the cheap plastic. Um, and my mom wasn't sewing very much. So at some point she, she let me have that sewing machine. And, and I, um, I think when they moved, I think when they moved into their, their, the house that they're in now, um, cause I vaguely remember putting that sewing machine in the, in my car by myself and it came with the cabinet and that's, you know, as far as I know, that cabinet's original to the machine. Um, it has a little foot pedal built in and stuff. So that's been in the family for a while and it's a great little workhorse of a machine. I mean, the, it's a rocketeer and it's, it's got all the enameled parts and, so when I was in Birmingham, for some reason, as I was getting ready to move to Asheville, and this was in 2001, I decided that I needed to get a new sewing machine. And so I was going to get rid of this one, but I was going to keep the cabinet. So I, I donated that sewing machine to charity. I think I had a yard sale and nobody bought it. And so I donated that sewing machine to charity and, uh, and, went and proceeded to look at other sewing machines. And everything else was kind of, uh, was cheap and, and, uh, plasticky looking. And, and I just, I just figured that I would come across a different sewing machine. Well, this was like three weeks later. I woke up one morning, like shot up in the bed upright and thought, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> I gave away that really good sewing machine. All the sewing machines they have now are just made not as well as that Rocketeer. And before, back then, I didn't even know it was called a Rocketeer. It was just my grandmother's sewing machine. And I knew that it was, you know, a really old one and it was all enameled parts and it was just a good, solid sewing machine. So I decided to go to the thrift store that was in conjunction to the charity that I donated that machine to. And of course, it wasn't there and there were no sewing machines there. So I decided to stop at the sewing machine store to um, to see about buying a new sewing machine, just to get a price and just know what I was in for. I walk in the door and there's the freaking sewing machine right there. The guy also sold used sewing machines and I guess he picked that one up at the thrift store. So there was my sewing machine. So I had to buy it back. <laughs> I had to buy my own sewing machine back. I mean, there's a chance it's not my grandmother's sewing machine, but given the timing and that it was the only one there, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was my grandmother's sewing machine. So I bought it back. And, you know, he added a, a pedal, a foot, um, he added a pedal to it, but I didn't need a pedal because I had the cabinet. And so I told him, <laughs> you know, I told him, I was like, you know, I gave this away and I realized what a mistake I made and I'm here to buy it back. And he looked at me, he says, you know, people usually don't get rid of these. <laughs> no shit. So, so I have my sewing machine back. And uh, he, he did a nice job of oiling it for me and, and, ref and doing stuff. I mean, it, my mother had done a really good job of keeping it oiled and in tune. And right now it needs a good cleaning because when I was living at my other house, my other house was just really dusty and dirty and it wasn't a very well sealed house. So, um, I need to do a good cleaning to that sewing machine, but it runs great. It runs really good. Um, and when I told the guy I had the original cabinet to it, you could, you should have seen his face. It was like, Oh my goodness. So yeah. So I dropped a couple hundred to buy that sewing machine back. But you know what? It was worth every penny. And I will never let that machine go ever again till the day I die. <laughs> I will keep that machine. Um, and actually, I've looked at other machines at the thrift store. At, there's a thrift store here in, at, near here in Durham called um, the Scrap Exchange. And they have some pretty good old sewing machines. And I wouldn't mind to having like a nice tabletop one. I mean, I guess I could pull that one out and get the pedal and and go take it upstairs and, and use it on a regular table. But you know, the cabinet's great. So, so yeah, that's the story of my sewing machine. I do love it. 
Um, it did used to have, I used to have a buttonholer for it, um, the accessories, and that, that was gone. That, I never found that again. But, you know, I've seen, I did see a Rocketeer, the same sewing machine with the accessories and everything for sale at a yard sale. And that person didn't want to split up the accessories from the machine. So, I didn't get that. But, yeah, they're a really good machine. It's solid. It's it's real solid. I wish I had the like designer plates with it, and I wish I had the button holder for it. Um, and I'll I'll keep my eyes open. I mean, one day I'll maybe I'll come across it. And I don't sew that often, um, but when I do sew, I really need a good machine, and that's a good solid machine. So, so yeah, I do love my Rocketeer, and it's been in the family for a really long time, and except for the three weeks where I it wasn't. 